We begin with a developing story out of Fond du Lac County. A community fights back, causing the Department of Health Services to withdraw its plan to place a Milwaukee sex offender in the town of El Dorado. 51 year old Clint Rhymes was convicted of sexual assault and attempted homicide back in 1988. Now, this sex offender placement controversy is forcing state leaders to act, giving hope to other communities possibly dealing with similar issues. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live at 6 with their plans. Well, Stacey, Fond du Lac County leaders, along with town of El Dorado leaders, had two goals in mind here to stop Clint Rhymes from living there and start a statewide discussion. The people of the town of El Dorado weren't going to back down. We don't want somebody like that in the town of El Dorado. Town Chairman Gary Miller. I'm glad people got involved with it. Along with Fond du Lac County Sheriff Mick Fink uh, organized a gathering with the community to, to discuss the placement of convicted violent sex offender Clint Rhymes into this home in the town of El Dorado. But the first concern was the people of El Dorado basically not getting hoodwinked. Well, the town passed an ordinance not taking sex offenders outside Fond du Lac County. Then the Department of Health Services decided to withdraw their request for Rhymes to live there. Now starts statewide discussion. The problem becomes when there's nowhere to put these folks in a community, then they get shifted into other municipalities, and that, that's what becomes the issue. Representative Michael Shrav Oshkosh is drafting legislation to prevent sex offenders from relocating to counties they have no ties to and possibly find a facility in the state for convicts with sexually violent pasts to live in. Get the discussion going now. To ensure that other communities don't experience this in the future. Whether that's the answer, Fond du Lac County leaders aren't sure. we got to do something with these. It's just not our township. But they say it's time to be proactive to prevent another issue like what's happening in the town of El Dorado. Now, there is a hearing tomorrow where a judge will decide whether to accept the withdrawal or side with Rhymes' attorney, who's pushing to have him placed in the town of El Dorado. I'm Alex Hagan with NBC 26.